Point Isabel ISD today hosting an active shooter training where their officers went through a number of scenarios after and being prepared to take down a gunman. Our Tylisa Hampton joins us live now with more on the training. Tylisa. Well, today's active shooter training here at Port Isabel High School included classroom and hallway drills, but today's most important part was effective communication. Officers are stepping into scenarios focused on stopping an active shooter. We are having an active shooter training. Um, we are doing the 2195. Uh, that is required by TEA. In the wake of the deadly shooting in Uvalde, Port Isabel ISD Police Chief Ricardo Herrera says today's training is for officers in the area. We have multi agencies here today. We have South Padre Island, we have Laguna Vista, and of course the instructors from Brownsville PD. The stealth movement and nonverbal communication is a critical factor in the training. It enables each officer to be safe and maintain proximity between each other. While some officers are paired together, the purpose is simple. We have communication uh, all the way from the approach to ground zero. If an active situation does occur, that it needs to be uh, stopped immediately. Aside from the training, Chief Herrera says there are other safety measures in place. We've received the TEA audits and uh, our, our securing all uh, areas needed in order to maintain uh, the, the school district secure. Well, of course, they say they hope an after shooter situation doesn't happen, but they say it's better to be safe and prepared just in case. Putting local first here at Port Isabel, I'm Talisa Hampton.